Hey, part three of the solar batch water heater. Uptown, I got it all plumbed, hooked up, and ready to go. Interior of the box is 100 degrees. I just filled it up, just got it plumbed, filled up, so it's, and it's overcast today. So it's not really putting out a lot of heat, but I know for a fact we're gonna have plenty of heat uh, when the sun comes out. Uh, let me get a couple of picture or temperatures just for the heck of it. Uh, like in part two, let me see if I can lift this up. Okay. Um, bottom of the tank is 62. Middle of the tank is 64. Top of the tank. 76, 73, 75, something like that. About 75 degrees, let's say. Uh, water in the water tank, 63. I just filled it up, like I said. Shady side of the tank, 60. We got 60 degree water coming in. 63 degrees at the bottom, 75 coming out of the top. How long, Larry, have we had this thing hooked up? 10, 15 minutes, huh? 15 minutes. It's already up to 80. 78 coming out. So I think it's going to be a winner. Um, something I need to change is my pressure relief valve. Please, 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 if you ever make one of these, be sure to put a pressure relief valve on it. Uh, mine is dripping a little bit, like one drip every several seconds. But um, that's the only drip I have. It's amazing. I use these shark bite fittings. Um, ideally, I would have had a 90 degrees right here, but not being able to see ahead of time what all I needed plumbing wise, I ended up with this. I had the flex line and I had this piece of PEX. I need to get a couple more pieces of this insulation noodles. And, um, I mean, to get it dialed in. I'm sure I'll still have hot water coming out of here. Also upgraded my pump system. This is the RV pump on the top. This is the cold water coming in. It tees off. One goes to the recirculation pump, which goes to the, sucks out of the bottom of the tank. Goes back up to the T, back out here to the cold inlet side of the solar heater. Then it comes out of the top, the hot side of the solar heater, goes into the cold side of the rocket stove water heater. Um, like I said, this is all random parts. I uh, still got to anchor it down. I'm probably going to get an elbow right here and you know fasten these tubes down but like I said we just got it hooked up just want to get some numbers out there and show the upgrade um, I need to get a diamond plate lid for my box I got a gray electrical box in there I'm gonna put 12 volts coming in and a couple of switches the switches will operate uh, the RV pump the circulation pump and also I have a differential pressure controller or differential temperature controller which will be mounted in there as well so John Canavan differential temperature controller um, I didn't have time to wire that up this weekend uh, I'll do it next time I come out a couple of weeks hopefully and uh, get that dialed in so yeah next trip is gonna be electrical get some uh, 12 volts coming into this box we get the lid on this box and some fuses hooked up and get this thing rolling. All right, this is Bobtown on the solar batch water heater update. Thank you.